G'day folks, it's Lauren from Snowy's here with the Black Diamond Moji Charging Station Lantern. A durable and dimmable lantern, loads of uses, three power options for recharging and convenience of doubling as a portable power pack. So your lantern will come in a box with a charging cable as well. It has this attachment here to the cable, which will just reduce electrical interference if you have other devices that are charging uh, via USB as well. It weighs just under 500 grams and measures about 11 centimeters tall by about eight and a half centimeters in diameter. And it has a waterproof rating of IPX4, which means it's okay to be splashed in light rain and things like that. Not submergible, not under direct pressure of water either. So on the lantern itself, we have at the base here um, where the light is built in, we've got this nice soft cover, which helps diffuse the light really well. On the top here, we've got a couple of different uh, hook options. So we can lift one of these up to create a hook. Otherwise you can lift two of them up here to create a loop uh, to hang under a hook. And this uh, top here is nice and flat. So if you like, you can sit it on a table and it can be a tabletop lantern as well. When we remove the top of the cover here, we can see there is the option for, uh, with some little instructions there too, charging it with AA batteries. Now this slides out like so to allow you to put your four AA batteries in with ease and just clicks directly back in. But inside there, we also have the built-in lithium ion battery, which is um, 5200 or 5200 milliamp hours is the capacity of that battery. So I'll pop that one back in. On the side here under this um, silicon or, or plastic cover here we've got really heavy duty as well so that's not um, coming away at all. Uh, we've got a couple of different options here we have a lightning output and we have a USB output and then we've also got uh, the rechargeable input from our, our USB cable that goes in there as well with uh, 240 or 12 volt powering options. And around the other side, we just have a single button, which will uh, be the main button function for the whole lantern itself. So when we press this button, we'll get some flashing blue lights. This is an indication that the lantern itself is locked. So to lock or unlock the lantern, we just need to press and hold that button for three seconds and the lantern itself will flash to let us know that it's been unlocked. Awesome, so that's unlocked. Now, when we turn the button on, it's just a single, uh, the lantern on, sorry, it's just a single one click on the button and pressing and holding to cycle through the dimming levels. Now at the brightest uh, setting, the lantern puts out around 250 lumens and will run for around about 50 hours. When we press and hold the button again, it will go down to a flash to be the dimmer setting. There we go. Um, not sure on the lumens on the lowest setting, but you'll get around about 150 hours of runtime when it's on low like this. And your uh, overall light coverage will be anywhere between 10 to 15 square meters. So when you're wanting to um, turn, oh, I haven't talked about the battery indicator lights yet. When you press the button, you'll see here that we've got this side lighting up in four uh, little blue lights. This side here is the onboard lithium battery. This side here is the AA batteries that you can add at the top. So because we don't have AA batteries in, there's no light indicator on this side. Um, and so that's a really handy feature to show you the two different onboard batteries. And if you're using this as a portable power pack, it's really handy to see how much power you've got left as well. Whilst I'm quickly talking about the power, the lantern itself will default to draw power from the onboard lithium battery as a preference. So you're absolutely A-OK -okay to leave your AA batteries in the unit. They won't be used until the onboard lithium battery has run flat. Now, one of the last features that this Moji Lantern has as well is the strobe function. So in order to get the strobe light activated, you need to press the lantern uh, button three times quite quickly. The strobe will start at whatever light setting you have on before you activate the strobe. So if you want to do a, a bright strobe, you'll need to make sure that your lantern is on its brightest setting first. So three quick presses and we're on to the strobe setting and just one single press to turn off your lantern. And then again, if you wanna lock it, press and hold three times, and that way you won't be accidentally turning it on in your backpack. That's about it for the Black Diamond Moji Charging Station Lantern. You can get this at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. If you've got any questions or comments, chuck them below. You can head here to subscribe or here for more helpful videos. Catch you later, Snowies fam.